Hey guys, in this video we've got more fun with inequalities for you. So in this video we're going to be looking at solving double inequalities or compound inequalities as they're also known. So when x is bounded from below and above and we need to solve inequalities such as 2x plus 1 is greater than 5 but less than 21. Now the good news is if you're happy solving simple single linear inequalities you'll be happy as Larry doing this and the really good news is that if you're happy with solving normal linear equations you're happy with solving simple linear inequalities making you fully equipped to be able to do this video so let's get cracking so we want to solve the inequality 2x plus 1 is greater than 5 but is less than 21 so how do we do this well we need to get x on its own in the middle of this inequality. So how would we normally get x on its own if we had 2x plus 1 was equal to something? Well, our first step would be to move the plus 1. And that's exactly our first step when we're playing with this type of question. So we're going to take away 1. But instead of thinking of it as taking away 1, on both sides we're taking away one from each part of the three parts of the inequality so we take one away from five we take one away from 2x plus one and we take one away from 21 so that will change our inequality to four is less than 2x which is less than 20 cool and now all we need to do is get rid of that 2 on the x. So to do that, we divide by 2, and again, we do that to each of the three parts of the inequality. Usually the golden rule with algebra is we have to do uh, the same on both sides. When we're dealing with these inequalities, we have to do the same thing to all of the three parts. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2x two divided by 2 is a single x and then 20 divided by 2 is 10 so our solved inequality is x is greater than 2 but less than 10 so if we were to work that on a number line we would want to find 2 we would want to find 10 and above each of them we're going to put a hollow circle because both of our inequalities are strict and then we just join them together with a straight line so, use your imagination there. That line is definitely straight. On with the next one. So, here we've got 3x over 5 is greater than minus 9, but less than or equal to 6. So, how are we going to solve that? Well, our first move could be to sort out this 5 on the bottom of the fraction. So, remember, that 5 is dividing the 3x. So, to cancel our division... We multiply by the number. So we're going to times by 5. And again, we do that to all three parts of the inequality. Now minus 9 times 5 it will give us minus 45. In the middle, the 5 on the bottom of the fraction cancels. That's the whole point. And then on the right, we've got 6 times 5, which is 30. So now we know that 3x is strictly greater than minus 45, but is less than or equal to 30. So now we need to get rid of the 3. So if we divide through by 3, then minus 45 divided by 3 is minus 15. 3x divided by 3 is a single x, that's the whole point. And then 30 divided by 3 is 10. So for this one, x is greater than minus 15, but is less than or equal to 10. So on a number line, find minus 15, find positive 10. The 10 is going to have a filled in circle above it. And that's a terrible circle. There we go. And then minus 15 is going to have a hollow circle. And then we join them with a line. Cool. On to the next. Okay, x plus 1 over 4 
is greater than or equal to minus 5, less than or equal to 7. So what's our first move here? Well, is to sort out this chap down here, the 4. So again, that's a division by 4. So we multiply each of the three bits of the inequality by 4. So minus 5 times 4 is minus 20, which is less than or equal to x add 1, which is less than or equal to 4 times 7 is 28. Cracking. Now we just need to sort out this plus 1. So we're going to take away a 1 from all three parts. Minus 20 minus 1 is minus 21, which is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 27. So on a number line, find minus 21, find positive 27. Now both of them here have a coloured in circle because we've got two or equal inequalities and then we join those up with a line cracking okay the last example bit of a monster maybe no problem there so we've got 2x add 5 over 3 is greater than or equal to 1 strictly less than 5 so the first thing we need to sort out is the 3 on the bottom so that's the division by 3 to cancel our division we multiply so we multiply each of the three bits by 3 so we're going to get 3 is less than or equal to 2x plus 5 is less than 15 cracking so that's sorted out the bottom of the fraction now we need to uh, start getting x on its own so if we've got 2x add 5 our first move is to get rid of the 5 and we do that by taking them away so 3 minus 5 is minus 2 so we get minus 2 is less than or equal to 2x which is strictly less than 5 15 minus 5 sorry which is 10 so now we've got 2x is greater than or equal to minus 2, but strictly less than 10. So for our final move, we need to divide by the 2 on the x. So minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1, which is less than or equal to x, which is strictly less than 5. So on a number line, find minus 1. Find positive 5, the 5 has a hollow circle, the minus 1 has a coloured in circle, and then we join those up with a line. There we go guys, that's how we attack double or compound inequalities. Hope it's useful. Was this video helpful? If so, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment letting me know how you get on. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any videos. For any further information, you can find me on Facebook or Twitter. Search for Maths with Mouth. Cheers, guys.